Hi there! Profilers are typically used to determine what the slowest method is in our own applications. With the trace timeline, we go one step beyond, and we collect information that helps troubleshoot UI freezes, thread deadlocks, garbage collection issues, and so on. In this screencast, let's see how we can use the trace timeline profiling to troubleshoot some common performance issues in our application. I've already profiled an application in timeline mode and captured the snapshots. In the timeline viewer, we can analyze temporal data. Everything in here is a filter, so if we select an interval, only data from that interval will be shown. If we want to see all calls at that file I.O. going on, we can select that as well. Interested in just one specific file that was used? Well, we can select it and all data will be filtered again, and we can even see the methods and subsystems used, the call tree, and even the source code for this method. Filters can be added and combined to help pinpoint where something happened in our application. Now let's look at the current snapshot in more detail. Let's say we are interested in intervals with high CPU usage. We can look at the process overview and select a suspicious time range. All two windows will then update and display only the information for this time range. The next thing we want to do is find the slowest method in this time interval and then look at its call tree. We can see here that methods are listed by the percentage of time they took in the selected interval and we can see their own time as well as the total time. And then look at the subsystems used by this method as well as the call tree. In this case it looks like our method has high lock contention. And sure enough, there is a lock statement in source code that we probably want to optimize in this code path. The call tree can be seen from the selected method showing all child calls. We can also look at backtraces to see which methods are calling the one that we are currently investigating. Sometimes we want to look into performance of a specific method and see how much time that method takes. We can find a method by name, for example the factorial method. When we navigate to this method, the trace will again update all filters. We can now see where in the timeline that this method was being executed, look at its timings, subsystems and so on. The trace can also help us analyze UI freezes. If we select the intervals where a UI freeze was detected, we can examine the methods and subsystems lists. We can see that this button click event handler spends quite some time in the file I.O. subsystem, which indicates our application's interface sometimes freezes because we are doing work on the main thread instead of using a background thread. Now let's clear the current filters and then look at the other filters that we can find on the left hand side here. Let's say we are interested in figuring out where in our application we are running SQL queries. We can filter on SQL events and then look at the queries that were executed. In the tool window, we can see the full query text. Once we select a specific query, we will see that the call tree is updated and shows us exactly where it originated, in this case activity button. When the garbage collector runs, it pauses our application to perform cleanup. The more cleanup work, the longer these pauses could be. This means excessive memory allocation may have a negative impact on application performance. When we select a memory allocation event, the trace will show us which methods are allocating most memory. In this case, string.concat looks interesting. In the call tree, we can look at the backtrace and then see where in our own code we are calling it. So in summary, every tool window in .trace timeline is a filter. If we select an interval, only data for that interval is shown. If we want to see all calls at that file I.O. going on or a certain SQL query, we can select that as well. Check our website for more resources about .trace and .trace timeline profiling. Thank you for watching and see you next time!